Hey everyone, welcome back to Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. This week we're going to use our Weber kettle drill and do a rotisserie standing rib roast. Stick around! So we're going to start with a, about a five and a half pound standing rib roast uh, that we picked up from our local butcher. It's already been trussed, the bones are separated. So really all we're going to do is we're going to use some Worcestershire sauce as a binder on this guy and just go over it real good, help give it a nice color. Get it in real good, even hit the back where the bones are. This will help hold the, the, the rubs on that we're going to be using. For this cook today, we're using White Lightning by Boar's Night Out. Don't be afraid to use your seasoning. There's a lot of meat here. You want to be able to taste it. Let's get it good and covered. Looking pretty good there. And our beef rub we're using today is Beauty and the Beef by Steak Princess. We use this one a lot. Works very well on beef. It's gonna give it a nice color. A real savory, rich flavor. Right now we have our Weber kettle running at about 350. With uh, Jealous Devil charcoal. We're gonna go out and we're gonna throw a couple pieces of post oak in there. Just give it a little bit, a little bit of smoke. While we cook, this thing will take maybe an hour or two, should be done. I think we're good to go there. We're going to let it rest for about 15 minutes. We'll put our spit rod through it and we'll get it on the grill. Probably touch up any seasoning we might knock off in, in doing so. Stick around. Okay, so this thing sat here and rests for about 10 minutes. We're going to go ahead and try to stay right above those bones. Put this spit through there. About like that. We're going to come back through this side. Try to hopefully miss the strings. There you go. Got that all tightened up. Loosen this guy, and I'm going to hit it with just a little bit more of this beef rub. Scuffed up my meat a little. So we should be ready to go. We're going to take this out. We're running about 350 right now on the Weber. So we're going to carry this guy out. Get him spinning. Stick around. Okay, so we got our charcoal. We're going to cook indirect today. So we're just going to throw a couple chunks of post oak on there, give it a little bit of smoke flavor. All right, go ahead and set this down in there. We're going to shoot for like probably 125 internal on this. So we're, it's really going to be more of a time thing to see where, how long it's going to take. But I'm guessing it's probably going to be an hour or so, maybe an hour and a half. So we're going to go ahead and turn this guy on. Okay, so our rib roast is just about done out there. We're gonna go ahead and whip up a quick uh, horseradish cream sauce. This is a half cup of sour cream, two tablespoons of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of horseradish. Can okay, mix all this up good. going to add about a tablespoon of fresh chopped green onions, eighth of a teaspoon of 
fresh cracked black pepper and about a quarter teaspoon fresh sea salt. We're just gonna mix this all together real good. Get it good and creamy. Gonna give this a little taste, see if we need anything else. Mm. That's money. So we're gonna leave this in the fridge till we pull that rib roast off and rest. And we're gonna be pulling that off here in the next five minutes, so. Looks good, tastes good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take the string off of this rib roast. This thing is it's juicy. It's got a nice crust on the outside. This took, ended up taking about two hours on our rotisserie. Make sure we get all these strings off this guy. Pull these off. We're gonna slice it right down through here. We're gonna make a couple slices on this guy, see how we did. See the juice just pouring out of this, y'all. This thing is. We're gonna try a little piece of this. It's freaking tender. That little piece there, we're gonna put a little bit of our horseradish sauce on there that we made up with it. Give that a try. Mm. Mm. Picking up some of the smoke flavor. That white lightning with that beauty and the beef combo is amazing. You gotta try that horseradish sauce too. It's excellent. I don't typically do two bites, but make an exception for Christmas. Mmm. Boy oh boy, that is good. Cooked perfect. The meter probe we used did a great job on it. Remember, keep following us on all the socials. We appreciate everything. Get your song. <laughs> Can you try that one? Yeah.